This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit service that makes eating better easier. With no grocery stores, no stressful meal planning, it's everything you need to prepare wholesome, delicious meals all delivered straight to your door. Every time we get HelloFresh delivered to our door, the selection of tasty extras gets bigger and better every time. Now they feature quick breakfasts and lunches, and they also offer additional protein, savory sides, and drool-worthy desserts, you guys. These days, I don't even have time to go shopping at the grocery store between writing a cookbook and taking care of Emmy and keeping up with everything here at the house and Lake Life family. So by using HelloFresh, I can save up to 28% of my time by getting it delivered straight to my door. I've mentioned this before, but one of the one things that I absolutely love about HelloFresh is the pre-portioned ingredients because it means there's less prep, less figuring out how many ingredients that we need, and there's less wasted food. So when I'm done using all the ingredients and anything that I have left over, I just toss it in the bag and it's recyclable. HelloFresh is also very flexible and fits with your lifestyle and preferences. Here at the Rackley household, I feel like we have a lot of allergies going on, especially with my autoimmune disease. Justin's allergic to peanuts. I'm not eating gluten or soy or dairy. And they're very accommodating with whatever preferences you need to make that's specific to your lifestyle. Lastly, HelloFresh is committed to giving back. If anybody out there notices that grocery store prices have increased dramatically, HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. One of my favorite things about the HelloFresh experience is getting little ones involved in the kitchen because the pre-portioned ingredients just makes it that much easier and stress-free for them to pick out ingredients out of the bag and taste them along the way. So go out to HelloFresh.com and use our code LAKELIFE12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com using our code LAKELIFE12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Clive family channel we are here in the backyard having a little fun on a hot summer day getting ready to release our duck that is right it's it time is for the time. duck it's time for the duck to go away i uh, i recall a time Amy. Amy. she's loaded Whoa, you got me you got me you got me when we got the chickens and we got one duck uh and the guy at the farm store uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I don't have any ducks. He's like, yeah, if you have chickens, uh, the duck is, uh, well, I'll let you figure it out. And we didn't know at the time if the duck was going to be a girl duck, which we were hoping for, so we could get duck eggs or a boy duck. We turned out to get a boy duck because when you buy them from a farm store, uh, they usually come unsexed, so you don't know what you're getting. Just kind of, you know, look at the draw. Amy, don't spray the chickens. <laughs> Spray the duck. I mean, that's just full-blown farm Spray girl fun. Spray the duck. What ended up happening was all of our hens developed beautifully. They're all laying eggs. And then the duck, uh, he started exhibiting some aggressive behavior with the other chickens. And we figured out uh, he, he needs to be around other ducks because he is literally pecked out most of the feathers on all of our lower pecking order chickens like you look at the backs of their necks the, their feathers are gone they're naked necks it's looking terrible and he just tries to dominate these chickens and and mount them i mean let's just get down to it he's trying to mount uh the chickens and it's a, it's a weird symbiotic relationship because the chickens let him around they almost kind of think he's a rooster and he and they do call for each other and they have a good relationship but he, he, at this point, is not healthy for the other chickens. Are you a princess or a unicorn today? Unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Don't hit me. If anybody has little girls out there, we've just gotten into this phase of she needs to be wearing this tutu, the wings, the sparkly shoes, the necklace, the whole ensemble yeah, every single day. Uh, she even has like a unicorn horn. 
she wasn't like that like a month ago but all of a sudden it was like one week boom and she's she's there which i mean it's pretty cute but at the same time everywhere we go it's like 10 pieces she's got to be wearing at all times <laughs> come on girls these are my easter eggers the easter eggers are uh they've become some of my favorites they started out really skittish and now they're super sweet and you can just see see the back of little puff's neck that's puff and that's peep and both of these Chickens are a little smaller and they're they're lower on the pecking order. Come on. Come on, girls. Well, and our chicken coop is a mess from all the rains that we've been having. And then we got old uh, old broody Magoo over here, Miss Carrot. So anytime there's any eggs in here she just sits on them she's not laying an egg herself but she's sitting on everyone else's eggs and so that's kind of a problem too because she's she'll start like rolling on the eggs and put she'll push some out uh, every once in a while one will get cracked or broken so uh, it's kind of a problem you know so we got two problems within the flock old broody which would be great if we were trying to raise chicks. It'd be wonderful. And then we got old, old Humpy. He greets like all the ducks at, or all the chickens at the door and then falls them in. And then you, you'll probably see some of his little behavior right here because when they get around feed, it's like feed. And when they're drinking, um, he just takes advantage of them. He just gets excited. This guy rock is probably the worst out of the entire flock. Her poor neck. I thought that she had a disease. And then when Justin told me that it was the duck, I was like, okay, it's unanimous. We need to get rid of the duck once and for all. I do feel bad because the duck is Emmy's duck. So we've already kind of prepped her and talk, told her, you know, duck duck needs to go find some other duck duck friends. You know, we're going to go take him to the lake. And, you know, the chickens need to be with the chickens and the ducks need to be with the ducks. So. I don't think she truly understands, but I think she'll be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take a towel. I'm gonna use it to just kinda keep him comfortable. This is the part he's not gonna like. It's probably the most entertaining for you. I was gonna say, this might take a moment. <laughs> Normally you're laughing at me chasing after the duck. <laughs> oh, one and done. He's just grabbed by that long neck. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just have to get him by the neck. All right, Ebenezer, you've been fun, but you are destructive to the rest of the flock, and it is time for you to go. I know you're going to find some other avian friends out there, some good fowl, some fowl buddies, maybe some foul mouth buddies. Get it? <laughs> quack, quack. I am going to miss this duck. It's kind of nice having a duck going quack, quack around here. Yep, say, say goodbye to your friends. They're little girlfriends. <laughs> okay, let's take you to the lake. <laughs> He's looking at me. He is looking at you. Do you need to pet Duck Duck? I mean, he's kind of like a, just a good dog when he's by himself. Yeah, he is. He's a good duck, and he honestly watches out for the the flock. Like he <laughs> makes sure everybody everyone's together. You know, he doesn't like if if the chickens get separated. He watches out for them when they're in the yard. Like he would probably take the hit if a predator came in. He'd probably protect uh, the herd, the flock, and get eaten. But uh, I mean. All your chickens are just getting yeah, destroyed. Destroyed. So it would work. If we had a, a girl duck. It would work great. Yeah. But I, we're just not gonna do that. We're not about it. <laughs> so we're just gonna be riding down the street <laughs> with in our duck. golf cart with our duck. <laughs> so just <laughs> just hang in there. Hanging out. With hang our on, duck. guys. It's just, this is for the best, buddy. It's for the best. Duck. This is your first golf cart ride. <laughs> You know, probably your first and last, unless another family decides to adopt you. It's like, man, this is not good. I don't know what's going on here. This is not good. Oh, okay. 
here we are. Okay, Duck Duck, we're gonna make this short and sweet. We got a windy day here. I hope you uh, blow into this cove and find some friends. There's usually some ducks hanging around here. Yeah, this marina. Nice grass over there. Oh, it's a beautiful area. Plus, you got you got a lot of people that come down here. Maybe you have some bread. They'll treat you right. So it's been good. We enjoyed having you, but uh, you know, if you can't keep that thing under control, we just we gotta let you go. So. <laughs> All right, Amy. Say goodbye. Amy, you wanna say bye bye to the duck duck? Hi. Give him one last pet. Aww. I love you, buddy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> she said, I love you, buddy. Aww. Okay. It was fun having you. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy the lake. Bye. Star. Woo! Reactions. Not the best send off. Wasn't the best send off. He, uh, he didn't really, f I thought he was going to fly into the water. <laughs> yeah, he missed that he flew, target entirely. <laughs> yeah, he, he flew into the bushes and then he started walking up to someone's house. So he'll figure it out. You know, he's kind of a land duck more than he is a water duck. So, uh, you know, I'm sure as soon as some more ducks come around, he'll be fine. Either that or he's going to be somebody else's pet. And we're back. What's that duck? He's at the lake. Remember? Remember? We let him go with the lake? He's going to be much happier at the lake with all his duck friends. Are we having a moment? I don't know. I know, I know. But you know what? Duck Duck is going to be much happier with his Duck Duck friends, okay? Hmm. He wasn't very happy with only chicken friends. Next week we can go down there and see if we can find him again. We can go say hi. We can bring him some breadcrumbs next week. A baby a cracker? A cracker? He would love a cracker. That sounds like a great snack. The emotions only imagine when uh, she is 14 15 what that's gonna be like a little sad but for the better I'm gonna do a chick chicken check up here they are just they're off the uh, the perch right now you know they would literally go up on the perch just to escape the, the duck yes girls now you can lay down again in peace I hope you recuperate some of your feathers Still getting them fresh eggs every day. And a pretty nice assortment, I must say. It's, it's kind of a equal equal balance of uh, all the colors. What are you looking for? What are you looking for Mama's cookies? Oh. Hmm. Wow. Wow, she's just got wow, right you, up in there. You knew how to get that. Can you tell them what kind of cookie that is? Uh, yeah. Not a brown cookie. It's rosemary. Rosemary. And... Parmesan? Puffle sauce. Puffle sauce. It's cheese. Cheese. It's yes. a little savory cheese cracker cookie biscuit thing. So latest uh, latest in the development mm -hmm. of the book, still mm -hmm. launching in October. That's still the plan. Let's see, this is number 36 recipe. So, so you gotta step up your game. I do, I'm behind, cause you know last week we went to Big Bend and then it's been raining for like two weeks straight and I only shoot uh, photos when it's um, good light outside. So. You, you don't believe in artificial lights. I don't. Only I think natural. I did. I think I did two photos that in is the book. That was green, as green as you can get right there, people. So uh, yeah, you had plenty of sun in the desert. I don't know why you didn't make uh, make some cookies out there. Well, we didn't have an oven out there, silly. <laughs> well, anyway, y'all, uh, she's still trucking on it, so we'll keep you abreast of the situation. I got a cookie, but, Mom. Uh, you got over sixty cookie? recipes. Going into um, her first official published um, hardcover, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, I cookbook. So that is a little bit different cookie, though. It's almost like a biscuit. I don't like oh, I'm sorry. Oh. You, know, um, you know. Is Mama's cookie a thumbs up? I like this cookie. There you have it. What's your favorite type of cookie? I like this cookie. There That's you your favorite. There's your endorsement. Wow. I thought I thought the brown cookies were your favorite. These are my favorite. Oh, okay. We'll we'll take it. A little cheese and rosemary cookie. You like it more than chocolate? Mm-hmm. Wow. Are you my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next national park we need to go to. Ah. Let us know in our comments we don't have. <laughs> okay, I'm I wanna go to the Tetons or uh, somewhere in Utah 
or the elf. Yellowstone. I don't know. I mean, it's all up in the air. Let's just not go back to the desert. In May. <laughs> Let's not go back in May. Just, just let the folks know if, if because I know a lot of people saw it and they're like, oh, I want to go. Well, <laughs> might want to wait because we were at like the tail end. Just like we were pushing Colorado in October, I think we pushed the desert in May. Uh, I think the best time to go if you're going to go to Big Bend or somewhere in the desert is like November. Wait till late fall. Yeah, November through Late fall, March. early spring. What is that contraption? This right here is a toilet camper toilet cleaner. This is a wand, they call it, with a hose. And it's got a little, little uh, deal right there at the end. Amy, remember this morning when you were spraying me with that little dinky little toy? Well, this is Daddy's <laughs> sprinkler right here. You ready? That doesn't, that doesn't seem fair. Amy, yeah, run away. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> it's clean water. <laughs> well, it is it's right not now. Toilet water. <laughs> so yeah, you put this, you put this down your toilet, turn it on, and it just wabai. Gets it going. I guess you could also uh, use it in the yard. Wabam! 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 We saying. also have two stickers that we need to decide which one do we want on our camper. Anyway, I thought my toy was fun. I mean, you weren't that impressed. I mean, it's fun. I'm yeah. gonna be cleaning. But nobody, nobody up your cares. Messes. <laughs> nobody cares about. Clean up your messes <laughs> till you learn how to poop in the woods. <laughs> nobody cares about the toilets. <laughs> Let's be honest. I it do. is time to put the sticker on the RV. It's a camper. Okay, on the camper. First sticker on the camper. You don't get an RV until you turn at least 60. <laughs> okay. Which one should we put on the camper? This one. Okay, don't peel it off yet. Don't peel it off yet. I like that one too. That would be Mama's choice. Okay, bring that over to the camper. You stamped her right here. I feel like this might be the spot. You'll still see this on the road when you're passing. Maybe you get more time to look at it. Oh man, the person been to the daggum Tetons. Thank you. All right, we're gonna put it on the camper. Okay, make sure it's uh, level and it's even. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's pick a good spot for it. Don't just stick it on there. What do you think? I'm thinking we could just start it right here. Right there? Here we go. I get my kiss. Wow, bam. We're official. Our first one. Our first one. Our first national park. I get my kiss. I feel like it's kind of like Girl Scouts. You were in your first badge. <laughs> you know, and. I need a couple of years. You have like a full. How many badges did you earn? <laughs> oh, let me tell you, I had like cookie badge. Probably like sure. fifty of them. <laughs> fifty, really? Oh yeah, I had the whole sash going, and then the vest, and then yeah. What about pooping in the woods badge? Ever, uh, yeah, I know. You didn't earn that one. We never was taught that. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, you're flying with your butterfly wings. Woohoo! All right, y'all. We're gonna sign it off here at a quack free zone here at the tree house. Go ahead and smash that like button. It's the only thing you can do. Can't leave comments. We still don't have comments for some reason. But thanks for tagging along with us and we'll see you right back here on the next one. Yeah.